Hey guys, welcome back to Gather Gaming TV. Welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. So, we are here. Got a bit of stuff going, got some sleeping quarters. Got a wee farm going. So, I'm going to start gathering some stuff. I think we need to observe. Nope, got that. Got that. So we've got quite a bit of stuff here. All right. We'll observe the tree. So I want to start getting uh, the basics done, and then I'm thinking now it's a bit of a way down, but I might attempt to move to here. It's fairly flat. I've got this mountain range behind me. Um, stuff might be able to get you through here. But, but we'll see. I'm building, because that's, that's not a bad place. It's either that or a build. Like down here. This back or something. Stuff is okay, but stuff can get up here. There's a path. There's some dead stuff over here, you see. So, that's the trouble I've got there. Oh wow, oh, a rock could come to the top of this mountain. Holy moly. Then again, if I come to the top here, it's going to be a problem going down for other stuff, so we'll not go over that. There's some good stuff on that. I mean, I suppose I could build it here, kind of lock myself in. We'll see. I don't know yet. Not a bad place up here, to be honest. I'll wall it off. Anyways, let's get going. We have stuff to do. We have logs to cut. Food wise, yeah, it's a bit naff at the moment, isn't it? Uh, meat, veggie, cooking and rations. Salmon's munching away already. A space debris destruction, yes, we definitely need that. Tearing weapons. Gonna need that too. I'll bother with that submitting thing yet. Now I'm actually playing another um, game of this on my laptop. I'm gonna use that save for the review. Which I will be recording after this. This is gonna be another probably 40 odd minute one. Just because whenever you're playing this game, time just flies. Oh, there's a thunderstorm coming. Doing me harvesting some of them. Along the can. Because <coughs> we're going to have to start getting ready for winter. When I mean, spring now, summer's going to come, so that's going to be really hot. Put that on, obviously, that. Thunderstorm. No, I don't know what I'm going to like up here. That down there just looks so good for building though. Ugh, oh, I don't... Big, big flat area, you know what I mean? Sleep parasite. An unknown parasite is causing me fatigue and dog loss. And now there's no cure. But a skilled healer may be able to think of something. Well, damn. This fragile looking broadleaf tree can be cut down to use some wood. Uh, it may be useful to grow it so I gather some of his knots. And there's one of his from wood. Ah, didn't know you could gather knots from wood. Right, he's researching. Getting the wood ready for building stuff. 
Obviously, there we go with all the stuff we can build. Furniture. There's real beds there, but I can't look at it yet. Jack is ironing. Come on, Jack, you've got time to idle, mate. And relax before bed. Need to work there. Research, basic destruction, right? So that means I could destroy this whenever it's. I can do it now. Well. We're tailoring in a minute, so we need like do towers. We definitely need the construction basics. There's two of them on a parasite. But this rain is a good lane. We need to start getting housing built. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure how I'm gonna do it. I'm going to section it off as I'm building it. I suppose I'm going to stay up here, can I? The grid isn't bad. To be honest, across there. Too uneven there to build, so... I have to cut it across there and <coughs> make a sort of square up here, I suppose. Plenty of trees here, anyway, it's good now. <laughs> Excellent, he's transporting that. Yeah. Alright, go on, you can refuel. I'm running away. So, we're getting a good lot of stuff here at the minute, we? I mean, this will soon vanish. Um, so, you know, we need to. Little alarm recording, I think. Pull that down a little bit. That's a bit better. So, uh. Let me search tailoring. Right, so we've got tailoring vents now. Which is handy because your clothes also roll away in this. So, da da da. The yeah, look. The clothes start to rot. But, um. You can make stuff out of different materials. I haven't got cloth at the minute. Because um, we need to find a plant for it. It's in it yet. Oh, there it is. Need to go and observe that. The fella there. I need a dead animals about them. So those little glowy mushrooms too, because they are handy. Now, I don't want to overwhelm them with stuff to do because they can get confused or not bother doing it. You also can start to lose track of what you're doing yourself, you see. You know, you don't know what needs to be done, what you need to do immediately, what you've already tasked. So, it's good to just do things, sort of try and work it out what you need to do. Do you need to uh, collect this? Do you need to collect that? You know, just, just get through it slowly. Food wise, I'm a wee bit in there at the minute. Oh, 
Oh my guy, I suppose. Get a bit more meat on the go. Go on in the chill time. Serving the leaf, he's cutting that. Job. So we want to try and get a, a building built as quickly as possible. So we can get in it. <clears throat> I'm going to start needing to cut trees too. So. Like that area is going to get decimated. <clears throat> Oops. Back in the mic. Sorry about that. Well, Mill's cooking because she's the best cook. So the skybox is getting stunning. Like. The actual game is really good looking. I mean, the fact that you can zoom right in. detail and stuff is pretty impressive like these big fellas here spies on his head that's an ugly dude Look that fella as well I don't know where near that I play this mainly in faster speed you can go I'll slow it down now and again I'll pause it if I need to think about something. Which you'll probably see on here at some point, like. I'm all taking walks before they go to sleep, so. Good. Move. that bad. I don't know. But they say they were sleeping, nobody went there yet. You know, try and keep them as happy as possible. Um, sometimes you just can't because they talk to each other and annoy each other, you see, so that can drop the happiness down quite a bit. So I'm going to do this episode, and probably either just before this or just after this, the review will go out. So if you haven't watched it yet, go over and have a watch. I'll be using my let's play map that I've been playing around with on my laptop and that's got a lot more hours in than this one has so this only has an hour or so whatever you saw in the first video I'm going to try and keep it as real time as I can just so that you can see the sort of things that you have to to do um, I don't like pausing and skipping I don't have time for that sort of thing either you know, I don't have the time to sit here for five or six hours to record this and make a video at the same time. Um, so you're sort of watching it as I play it, sort of thing. Uh, happy days. Where are these boys at? Right, I have found... The craft weapons yet. No. Knackers. Oh, let's kill him. Oh, get in, birdies. Thank you. Well, I'm ready for it. I'm going to wait until they attack me then. Because them birds have kicked her butt. They're attacking. We'll see what happens when they get here. Come on, Jack, mate. <laughs> he's come over to smack Simon because he's no weapon. Run, Simon! Go 
about it. On draft. I'm gonna observe them a butcher. We're gonna we'll learn a little bit more about them. That's good. Well, they can get wild. I think on my laptop player, I've got to like 60 odd of them or something, which is insane. And cotton ones could really do with growing some. Get it if you know what I mean. Got that. These guys are growing up. It looks scary, but they're not. These are peaceful little fellas. The herbivores. It's eating grass. Even though they do like they skew you and eat your life. But another thunderstorm. Sheesh. Uh, so this one is, um, I think Seth and Ar Seth and Arthur with the spaces, you know, probably right now. Oh, that was close. Um, is the uh, the seed for this one? My laptop one is uh, mine and misses his name, so. You could put whatever seed in you want. Numbers, letters, spaces, whatever. Which is a good thing I like about this game. There's a lot of replayability. When you finish it one time, just knock up another one, reseed it, and see what you get. Whoa! That was uncalled for. I'll get it fixed later, I suppose. Bad picnic eating outside in the rain. <laughs> and later on, you'll get stuff like meteorite storms and stuff like that. That was on call for. Come on. You're just hitting stuff, just to hit stuff. Like oh. Hit lightning strike. Yeah, thanks for that. I'll build one, you know. No. Thanks for the useless tip. <laughs> I can build a shooting target though. Put that over there out of the way, just to stop from getting annoyed. No better sunny again. Hey. We'll fix this stuff whenever it's time for working. There you go. Later on you can harness that and use it for power, which is good. Although I tend to find when I've built the flipping things, the lightning rods made a little lightning. <laughs> Plant in there, happy days. Let we get those chips. So, Quinn is the man for scavenging. He gets, where is it? Oh, hold on. More food. Need that knocking off and all of them. Forgot about that last time. We've destroyed the shooting target already. Eesh. Right. So that's the wee beetles. It's a good idea to uh, research or observe everything. You might get little extras out of it. Uh, overall version of the pest that's known and hated on many worlds. Uh, Given the book's name, overwhelming scarabai. Oh, it's, it's a lot more annoying. Tell you to scuttle through your fridge. This one is a big impudent enough to attack humans and do some damage. Insects tend to swarm. Just 
glitter caps. These are good. You can harvest them and plant them now. Uh, gather and cut fully material, however, they are still slightly poisonous. If you assume wrong, you can do healing bomb, which is handy. But I'm not doing much more for. Well, I suppose. They are handy, like. Quite well, I'm going to do it. Cooking six, well done. And glow shrooms for lighting. There's not really much glow stuff about rotting away yet. Don't have electricity, can't build a fridge or anything like that. <coughs> so, uh, winter time, if stuff left outside, it will actually freeze, which is pretty cool. There's not a lot I can do until I research the electricity stuff. Right, so that's completely gone now. So, we'll start doing that one next. So it's first to get up something to transport that to storage. I don't know if I can change that terrain, like. If I stick a bit of the it might fly out, I don't know. No, I'm even trying. Look. Oh. Yeah, see, that's going to be getting in the way of my building. I really want to move down here. Look at these, I'm fight down here, look. Wow. Big fight going on here. I'm trying to think of a place that's easily defendable. That's what you need. Well, we're not going to get attacked in two ways. But I don't want to go far because I'm going to have to transport that stuff. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. We could only build in this area if I fence it off because that's going to be in the way. I think I will shift down here. When that's gone, I'm going to move. I'll maybe start building down there, but. Cooking rations for. I need more meat. Yeah, I need meat and veggies, right. Oh, that's something with a poacher there. Try and hunt that guy. The others might attack otherwise, but we'll see. Got refinement, happy days. And that building's excellent. Right, uh, hay cloth we need. Give me the right water, won't we? We'll leave it at that for now. Did he kill me? Yeah, he must have. Ready to harvest. So you really keep track of your food and stuff because it can vanish like especially if you haven't got a freeze yet it can uh, just disappear so if you can try and research and get the freezes as quickly as you can i got the fridges first which are okay it does slow stuff down but you get to a point where you actually collect quite a lot but well fruit and veg anyways um meats I was a bit lacking on that to be fair, I should have um, killed a lot more. Need a 
stuff in this room, don't worry. This is why you have to keep killing shit. Right, feedback construction is pretty good. Exploration is okay. Research ain't bad. Resources are pretty good. Mm, characters aren't bad. Combat I feel is a bit a bit unimpressive to be honest. And the UI is pretty good. Combat's just a bit simple and generic in my opinion. But it does a job, you know what I mean? I think to be honest it's more of a a survival building game rather than a combat game. Which does mean rightly, I love them sort of games. I'm not too bothered about shooting stuff all the time and you know, I am more of a, <coughs> a building survival sort of thing. That's why I would like a survival game. If anybody knows of one, or it's just you and the elements. Nothing's coming to hunt you. There's no aliens, there's no zombies, there's no monsters. Just you. Maybe wildlife, if you come across it, but it's not, it's not physically haunting you. Just if you come across, you know what I mean? Like, sort of, something realistic. You know, there's not fucking birds and tigers and stuff constantly looking for you. <clears throat> you know, and you've got to build your own hut and life and stuff like that. That's, that's the sort of survival game I like. See these two here. Unfortunately, their numbers up. <laughs> And so's on trees. A little one there, nail them too. Plays a pistol, shouldn't take how long taking them up. Jack's away hunting look. He's supposed to be a good hunter too. Uh, yeah, hunting. No, she's on two too. No, they're not. See, they can learn farming, they're not opposed to it. So. And later on, we'll uh, get them all at it. But at this early stage, you want the ones that are experts at stuff to do stuff. Because if they're like, I think it's three and below, they've got a chance of losing the harvest. Which, when you don't have a lot to start with, you don't want. So in a minute we'll let Emily, em, Emily sort them out, and then Jack Quinn and that can, can join later on when we have a decent supply of stuff and can afford to lose a wee bit, like. <clears throat> but until then, we will keep it. No way. Obviously that's it. We don't need the silicon just yet, so we don't need that there. But I think we'll harvest it when we start moving down to the next base. Have that for metal. We're not doing ore yet, so we're not going to touch that. Uh, construction is nearly done, so that's going to be really good because we'll start building the uh, bottom of the base. We'll go down the hill there, and we'll start constructing the <coughs> the um, the bottom of it. So I think I'm going to go around here, um, I'm going to build a main house thing here for now, then maybe here is going to be a storage building. I want to try and get that sorted fairly early, uh, I want to make sort of a compound sort of area. No storage, and then what's it? Because there's plenty of trees on this map. Like there's more than uh, on the other one. Russian basics, happy days, right? Fireplace, cool. And then you've got all your floors. Oh, jeez. We're still in the division store and stuff. Um, 
All your floors. You could do rooms straight out, doors, but I like doing my rooms bit by bit. Roofs, stairs, and you can do them out of wood, concrete, stone, whatever level you're at. So. Ah, we're out of storage already. Which is not a good sign. We don't have to transport all this down. Well, actually, it's because of the wood, you see, so. And all control speeds up your screen when you're moving, by the way. Right, here's what I want to do. Let's just. I want to move now. Do. Same height. Oh, uh, does it go up and down next? So. Right. Doors. That should do. That should be big enough now. It's going to be a lot of wood, but it's going to be worth it. Now, can I do stone yet? Now, I want to do. I know I don't have any stone yet, but I want to do a storage building. I need stone, but I have to. Oh, I thought I was going to observe it first. But we will collect that. Bit by bit. So they're going to go away and start doing that. That's all the stuff I need. A fair bit of wood. And I haven't got walls or a roof on yet. I just want to get that, that bottom bit sorted and then I'll start sorting out the interiors. Because I want to try and get it so I can get them their own rooms, sort of, as soon as I can. I think I'll survive a winter down up here, with the fires and stuff going. I don't think I'm going to be too bad, to be honest. Um, was that so? Is it me? Right, answer me in this. I'll tell you what, you stop doing that. Transport that. Right, but when you start playing the game, right, whenever you say you're playing like this, you don't change it. You're stuck at this sort of angle. You don't move it around or change where you're going or like that. I've been doing that with my laptop game. I've sort of built a base and I've been looking at it like this for so long I can't I can't play it at any other angle. It's it's weird like What's wrong with Jack? He's such a whinger. Personally unhappy, uh, fun things to do and in a little pain. Well, not much we can do about fun things to do, son. Uh, I can't make that yet. Missing leathers. And drain. Hmm. Ah, oh, research. <laughs> Leather ore. Where's the cloth? Where's the leather right now? I've got a tanning rack out. I could do leather. 
Those are beds, look. They got wooden, stone, metal. Top tip. <coughs> In this game, they can form relationships. Obviously, if they're not sleeping with a partner, the relationships will go down. They don't do big beds. They only have these wee single ones, but if you put two together, same sort of thing. So there's your, there's your tip of the day. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna get through my first winter here. Hope. I do need get some fur and stuff. I've got hides off them guys. Definitely haven't left it up here. Oh crap, I don't know what type. Get him, get him, get him. Down. Oh, I haven't observed these yet. <laughs> I don't know if I'll let me observe him when he's dead, but we'll see. No. Sugar butties. That's what I still have up. Observe him. Observe him too. So yeah, definitely try and observe all your animals. Man, they're hammering this away, no bother. I think the size of this should be okay. And if not, I can extend. Which is cool, you know, because if you demolish stuff, you get your resources back. So I can extend. Knock a wall down, extend it and do whatever, but... I like the living quarters being wood because I would love to live in a log cabin as long as I had a uh, fiber robot. Right, uh, despite its somewhat menacing look, the big flying insects seem to be peaceful and easily scared. And it's decided to name them the Hummingfly. It's worth noting, however, that the rare cases when they get enraged, its attacks are far fly over obstacles. So, everything, <clears throat> even though a lot of these animals are. Peaceful. They do have the ability to kick your ass. So, you've got to remember that, like. Lost Harvest probably won't. See, there's stuff there that needs collected. Now I'm running out of um, space to post off. That's going to help with this because this stuff needs to be picked up. So that's these deer thing, the oaf. The large animals who lived on our planet before we humans caused their extinction. Uh, I hope that these gentle giants will have a better fate. So I named it Orphan. <coughs> My hopes may be in vain though, because this herbivore animal is relentless. It's relatively easy to hunt down. And butcher will yield a lot of meat and skins essential for survival. So now I might be able to get skins from you, see? Now that I know I can get skins from him. I think that's why I wasn't getting any before. But we'll see. I think I've butchered that one already. Okay. Where's the other one found? Hunt them guys. <clears throat> right, Jack's up first, he can transport this stuff. Oh, I should not build all that first. Exquisite meal, very good food variety, which is good. Food variety got me sometimes, like, because you just get stuck in your crops or something, so you can't, you know, get around to, to killing stuff, as it were. But. And then you lose track of what food you've got. There we go. Observing the bloated dude. 
This big bloated insect is a slow and usually peaceful herbivore, which I named Glutch. While not particularly dangerous, it secretes a poisonous substance which accumulates on its skin and is released as a toxic cloud when the creature shakes its body in fear. Engaging it from a safe distance seems like the best option. So it basically farts everywhere on you. So now you can see, you get hides and meat, and obviously these have a shelf life, so they will decay if you don't uh, see them, see, hide. As long as they collect it. He's knocking that up for us. It's got dried meat on it. <coughs> and that dries your hides into leather, you see. If you don't observe them, you don't get the hides off them. As far as I'm aware. Because I've killed a few of them and I didn't have any yet. Well then we've got more storage space so that is really handy. So now we'll just let them work away for a wee bit to be honest. There's quite a bit to do. We've got a build down here that's a fair way from the walk. Um Now I'm going to have to wall all the way around this probably I'll just wall up to this mountain. Wall across here, across here. And it's probably going to be too hard to wall around. I'll have to go here and then across and then L shape it or something, but we'll see. Might just use all this and bring it in with me. Have a look at how awkward it is. Yeah, but stuff can walk over that, I think, so. It's a little bit of a shame it's on a grid. You can't place it wherever you want. See, the pink has got supplies. It needs to be built. There's no real order to do it in, they just chuck it out whenever. Stone have very little of, so. Now, obviously we're hunting all these animals, right? You might think, oh crap, what if I hunt them all away in my area? The map's fairly large to be fair, but also um, there's migrations. So every now and again you'll get maybe 14 or 15 more of a certain animal come back in as a migration, which is pretty, it's a good idea to be honest. Resources like you're stolen, that will deplete, but um, as I say, the map's pretty flipping big. So, obviously not all the way over there, but you know, you're a good size. Jack's always in a risk of meltdown. Uh, he's hungry, a few things to do, he's stressed out, drowsy and all that. Jack, bit of a whinging old git to be honest. He's always whinging about something. I mean, there's plenty to bloody eat, get something to eat. For some reason, Jack doesn't eat when he should do. And he gets uh, he gets hungry, which is a bit stupid. And again, don't know why. So all these different storage chests, like so that storage building down there, I want to put on wooden shelves because obviously then it's like a, a three high stock. Well, you can't put construction stuff on there, so I'm going to have an area in there for that too, <laughs> probably against the wall. Um, but yeah, I want shelving in there. <clears throat> Some construction stuff can be stashed outside to be fair as well. If we just leave the guys to it though. We'll start building. Right, that is going to do it for this one guys. We're 44 minutes there so we'll keep it about 40-45 minutes for each one of these. We are getting there. We've got some other stuff built. We've got some plants growing. Now we're traveling wood down here to construct these floors. Bit of a long way to go, really, but what we've got to stop at the minute. Um, oh, another top tip: if you click on somebody, you can right-click and get them to actually do something specific. It comes in handy sometimes. If you want like uh, windows closing for winter coming or stuff like that, you can get them to do it straight away instead of waiting for it in the queue, sort of thing. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do for this one, guys. If you like what you've seen, please give us a thumbs up. 
please hit that subscribe, please hit the wee bell, ding a ling ling, and I'll tell you when all the videos are coming out, and help the algorithm. If you want to help the channel, guys, there is a link down below for Gavi Gaming TV merchandise. You got hoodies, t-shirts, mouse mats, extra extra large mouse mats, mugs, phone cases, usual sort of stuff. Uh, all at reasonable prices and good quality. If you don't want to purchase anything physical, but still wish to uh, help the channel for upgrades, all the stuff to review, etc., um, help start my second channel, there is a link down there for PayPal too. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you again next time.